say there YouTube welcome back to my channel paranormal biker today's conversational topic is another keto meal right out of my cookbook there we go let's jump right into it oh yeah Mexican shredded beef and that's what it looks like so let me show you every day ketogenic kitchen this meal is going to be located on page 206 here's some of the fun facts uh, what is that 416 on the calories 27.8 on the fat 29.5 on the protein It'd be nice to see a little bit more fat than the protein 1.9 on the carb and half on fiber yeah and also so this uh doing the beef in the uh, oven is going to take five hours and it looks like i'm going to have to make uh, the cilantro lime cauliflower rice to go with it so yeah hopefully this turns out good stay tuned let's prep this so i guess i'm going to use a cookie sheet for this and no, no parchment paper. I want, I want the aluminum. Got it all set. So uh, with a little magical editing. Yeah. All right. There we go. Boom. All right. Here's the good. A little H E boo beef. 100% natural. I hope it is. And there we go. Almost uh, four pounds of the chuck let's line this up stand by while I slap the beef yeah all right glad I washed my hands yeah all right so I was quite literally being very liberal about this all right just popped it in so let me get with my assistant Alexa set a five hour and 15 minute timer Alexa, volume 10. That's so I could hear it go off when it goes off. All right. Okay, Next. so actually we're going to back it up a little bit because I jumped ahead of myself. I th all I thought I was thinking is I could just slap some beat. You know what? I was just being a man. I didn't read the instructions. So let's not start over, but let's start over. Let's do it. All right, so I have to go get a Dutch oven. All right. So I just picked up a, uh, a Dutch oven. Thank God my uh, mom was home and she's pretty much saved the day. She's allowing me to use one that's, uh, I don't know, 30s 40s it's been in our family that long i'm guessing or it's just been in our family for a long time but uh it's uh it's one of those old family pots right i think uh probably <laughs> a lot of families out there they kind of have just old pots and dishes in their families that they just kind of pass pass along well this is kind of one of those you know, it's old, it's nice, it cooks real well. Hopefully I don't uh, I don't let its legacy down and cook a horrible ass keto meal in it, God. But anyway, let's get to the house. All right, let's get it inside. All right guys, so it's calling for a quarter cup of bacon fat or lard. So in my house, we call this bacon butter. Because literally, we use it on everything just like butter. All right, so I depleted that jar, so I'm gonna have to cook me some more bacon to fill it up. Had to get into my private reserves, the private gold stuff. So there's the quarter cup. Let's get it thrown off in here. Guys, let me show you what I've done. There we go. I've already added everything in here. Sorry, I wasn't uh, going down the list. I kind of show you. I 
kind of had an explosion of spices. So I was missing two things. I was missing the ground cumin and the liquid smoke. Thank God the liquid smoke is optional, but the ground cumin, it's just, there's no ground cumin anywhere. You would think that we would have ground cumin, but we don't. So moving on. All right, I just substituted it with adobo. So I'm gonna grab this with a pair of tongs and transfer it to a pan because I'm gonna sear it. And then after I'm done searing it, I'm gonna transfer it into the juice and then kick its ass on into Yo. the oven. So I have it on high heat. I'm gonna sear it for a little bit and I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna try to get it on all three sides. Yeah. Get some of this stuff back up. Ah, man. I just Jeez. flipped it. I might sear it a little bit more over here. Oh, just turned it again, man. That fat looking good. Just flipped it again. Other sides of being a bastard but I'm singeing it. All right, we're gonna call that seared. Let me get it over into the uh, Dutch oven and kick its butt into the oven. It's doing its thing. I have fat side down, guys. It doesn't really specify, but I'm gonna keep fat side down. Anyway, let's get this over. I ended up having to put it in the bottom oven. Uh, yeah, stupid top oven wouldn't fit the, uh, the full height of the Dutch oven. So yeah, so there you have it. It's in the bottom. It's all gone. Oh yeah. Done. And as that's cooking over there, we're going to start on this right here. All right. And the nitty gritty says... 79 calories, 5.6 grams of fat, 2.2 grams of protein. Uh, so the fat is more than the protein. Carb 6.1. Ooh, boy. And fiber 2.2. Nice. You have two hours and eight minutes left on your five hours and 30 minutes timer. So it calls for two tablespoons, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna start off with uh, maybe a, a, a single tablespoon and uh, cilantro. So I don't know, a sprig it, a cut, whatever. I'll get the weed whacker after it and we'll call it a day. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, I almost pulled off pull down all this these spices I've been working so hard to make look good all right so I'm gonna tune it up with some uh, salt right, so it's all dolled up I just have to uh, get it with the cilantro all right that's mission accomplished all right, I'm gonna get this uh, this roast pulled out Moment of truth. Kind of has a uh, a uh, like a chili smell to it. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. God, I just burnt the shit out of my hand. Here we go. Oh. Man. All right, I have mm. to do something. Instructions say I'm supposed to separate it and mix it in with these uh, juices. So I'm going to have my uh, backup uh, camera guy. What he's going to do is he's going to hold it right over this Dutch oven.
Alexa, cancel timers. You have two timers on this device. A one hour timer with about two minutes and 25 seconds left and a five hour, 30 minute timer with about one hour, six minutes and one second left. Which one do you want to cancel? Both. Duh. Canceling both timers. Are you getting all this happy goodness? Yep. All right. Look at that pure awesomeness. I don't know about y'all, but the fat is some of the best part. And we all know, what's the fat good for? Tyler? Uh, oh. uh, flavor. Yeah, flavor. That's what brings your beef to Flavor Town. Flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Smells good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, show this. Good. <laughs> Let's swap. We're going to see how the oldest one likes it. There you go. Better blow on it. Flavor down. Yeah, that's really good. Holy Tyler. Hell. Second camera, man. First. This is keto know. food. Here. Nom, nom, nom. Get your hand over it. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> that's really good. Epic. So good, I had some in the stash. So what do I do with this? Uh, put it right there. Hmm. All right. I'll show you when we uh, get it all plated up, y'all. There it is. All plated up. So there we have it, guys. I'm going to do like I always do before I wrap this up. I'll give one last little still. All you got to do is pause it, do a screenshot, whatever. I don't care. It's uh, out of my cookbook that I was talking to you about earlier. It's page 206. Every day, ketogenics. And here we go. I want to thank y'all for watching my YouTube channel. And please, don't forget to subscribe. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on that notification icon so next time I come out, with one of these totally random everyday videos, you're informed. Y'all guys take care and have yourself a great evening.